Animal Crossing New Horizons is finally out, and if you want your island to succeed, there are a few things you have to do on day one. So let's get started. After you've completed the tutorial, you should be able to craft a net and fishing rod. Once you've made these, you should catch as many bugs and fish as you can and donate five of them to Tom Nook. After you've done that, Nook will call up his old friend Blathers and ask you to pick a spot for Blathers' tent, which he'll set up the next day. Blathers gives you access to the shovel and vaulting pole, so it's best to get this done ASAP. Unfortunately, you won't be able to donate anything for the rest of the day, so I recommend throwing down any new species you catch on the ground until you can donate more tomorrow. If you haven't already, make sure to track down both your villagers and chat with them. Doing so should net you some new items and nook miles. Next, make sure to comb the beach for shells to sell and, more importantly, for a message in a bottle. There should be a new bottle almost every day, and each one contains a DIY recipe. Considering it's your first day, you should get a new recipe. Just don't forget to select it from your inventory and read it. If you're still light on bells and furniture, I highly recommend shaking every tree you can on your island. Obviously, there are parts of the island you still can't access yet, but there should be plenty of trees in your vicinity. Now, obviously, most trees will drop branches, but occasionally some will drop bells or furniture. I should also mention here that wasps' nests can also fall out of trees. I recommend equipping your net so you can catch a wasp in case that happens. They are worth 2,500 bells after all. Now this one's a bit strange, but if you're familiar with Animal Crossing, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. You should hit every single rock on your island. Hitting rocks will net you resources like clay, stone, iron nuggets, and if you're lucky, gold nuggets. Iron is especially important when it comes to crafting, so we recommend getting as much of it as you can. However, crafting materials aren't the only thing that can come out of rocks. Once per day, there is one rock that will spew money every time you hit it. Normally, I'd recommend using your shovel for this because you can dig a couple holes to brace yourself, but since you can't get a shovel until day two, the flimsy axe will have to do. You can place two pieces of furniture behind you instead so you don't recoil so much. Next up, you should pull all your weeds. This may seem a bit tedious, but pulling weeds has a few advantages. First, you can sell your weeds to Timmy. Second, pulling and selling weeds can get you some nook miles. And third, there are some DIY recipes that require weeds, so it's good to have a few on hand just in case. Finally, it's time to pay off your debt to Tom Nook. This loan will run you almost 50,000 bells or 5,000 nook miles. I recommend paying this off with nook miles. 5,000 may seem like a lot, but you should rack up plenty of miles from exploring your island. One of the best perks of owning a house in New Horizons is that you'll have access to a storage inventory. Home ownership also unlocks Nook Miles Plus, which provides you with a rotating selection of Nook Miles bonuses to chase, so it's good to get started on it early. And that's it for me. If there's something I missed, please leave it in the comments below, and be sure to check out our review in progress.